Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn how to convert a date time to a date in Salesforce. We will discuss this topic for both Salesforce Lightning as well as a classic component. So let's proceed by understanding convert of a date time to a date. So in Salesforce, date time and the date are two different data types and we can use them interchangeably. And to perform an operation of a comparison on a dates and a date time value, we always need to be convert them to the same data type. And for converting them to the same data type, uh, we use a date value function of a Salesforce. And the syntax of this date value function is given on your screen. So let's proceed and learn to convert the date time to a date in Salesforce Lightning first. So here I open my Salesforce account and by default it is open in a lightning edition but the page is not the main home page setup it is the home page of a service app. So firstly I need to be navigate to the uh, setup page of the app. So for this I have to click on this uh, gear icon and from here I have to click on this setup for the setup for the current app. So when I click on it it redirect me to the main screen of the Salesforce lightning experience. So and here you can see that on the left side in a navigation bar we have a option of a object manager. So when I click on this object manager it moves to the page which shows me the list of all the objects that are available in Salesforce. Now it's time to choose the object in which I want to convert the date time to the date. Suppose this time I want to perform this section on the payments object. So I search for the payment in a quick find box. So it shows me payment. So I select this object and now it's time to create a field uh, because I want to apply the formula and for applying the formula we need a formula field. So for this I click on this field and relationship and uh, here on a right side on a top we have a new button. So I click on this one. Now it shows me the page where I have to choose the field type. Uh, for creating a field. So as I told you I want to convert the date time to the date. This is a formula type of a thing. So for this I need a formula field. So I click on this radio button next to the formula and after that I click the next. Then it show me the field label to add to uh, give the name of the field. So I want to give the name as a cancel pay date and when I click on this field name the field name is automatically populated on the base of a field label as you scroll down you can see that it shows you the formula return type data types so it's time to choose the formula return type so as we are converting the date time to a date it always result in the date format so we have to choose the date here and after that you have to click on the next. So now I am on the page where I have to enter the formula. So as I need to convert the date time to the date, I, I need a date value function. So here you can see that on the right side we have a functions section and from here you can click on this tab drop down and you will get the all the function with the name date and time. Click on it and here you will get the function with the name date value which shows you that you have to pass the expression to this function and it creates a date from its date time or a text expression. Okay, so now it's time to pass the expression. So I already have a standard field with the name cancellation date. So I click on this insert field option and here is the standard field cancellation date and here you can see that its type is a date type. I click on the insert button and it insert the cancellation date time field in the date value function. Now to check that whether this formula is true or not you have to click on this check syntax button. So you can see that it shows me that there is no syntax error for this. So basically this formula converts the cancellation date from um, the date time field to the date field using the date value function. So and by scrolling down you can see that it here we have a description box and a help text box if you want to Give description and help text you can give and even if you want to handle the blank fields you can handle it. After doing all such things you have to click on this next button. It redirects you to the next step. So in this step you have to uh, set the field level security. Uh, so by selecting that 
you grant the edits asset to this field to the profiles so here are the profiles so i want to give grant set of this field to all the profiles so i click on this visible button and then i click on this next now it's the final step and it asks you to add to the page layout so uh, you have to select the page layout name in which you want to add this field so here you can see that we only have the one page layout if you have more than one you can uncheck the checkbox that you want okay after that you have to click on the save button and you can see that it saves successfully now let's see it's work or not for this you have to click on the app launcher you have to search for the ob object for which you do this thing and i am searching for the payments so here is the payments object i click on it click on this new button create a new payment with all the mandatory fields so here suppose i am selecting the account this one and here you have to enter the amount here i enter the amount you have to select the status then you have to select the type and by scrolling down you will get the field with the name cancellation date in additional information with date and time so here i am going to select the date and time and click on the save button so there are maybe here this field is left so processing mode i set to salesforce and click on the save showing an error salesforce is invalid external i set it and click on a save so you can see that the payment is successfully saved and it redirect you to the details page and here you can see that it uh, shows you the cancel pay date as a 8/7/2023 and the cancellation date is 8/7/2023 1 pm but when we convert this date time value to date it only shows us the date with this we have successfully learned that how to convert the date time value to a date in salesforce lightning so now we will learn the same procedure for the uh, salesforce classic so let's first shift to the classic edition for this you have to click on your profile and here you will uh, see uh, we have a option with the switch to a salesforce classic in the last so when i click on it it redirects to the classic edition now on the top you can see that we have a option of a setup you have to click on it to move to the classic setup now you have to scroll down and here on the left side you will get a section name built and under this you have a drop down option of a customize and here it shows you all the objects that we have in salesforce and here i need a object in which i want to use the formula of a date time to a date conversion i want to apply this formula on the account so i click on this accounts and now i have to create a field for this also so i click on this fields uh, after that i scroll down as i want to create a new field because i need to use the formula date value for converting the date time uh, to a date so here i click on this new button which is in a account custom field and relationship section now it shows me the various fields that i have to choose one from it to create a field type so i am using the formula one so i select it and click on the next now it asked me to give the field label so i give the field label as a create date and when i click on this field name it automatically populated now it's time to check the formula return type as we are converting that date time value to the date it will always return the output in a date format so for this you have to click on this radio button next to the date and click on the next to move ahead after that this time you have to enter the formula as we are in a enter formula page and it shows us the advanced formula box and here we have to enter the formula which converts the date time to a date so again i move to this function sections and from here i choose the date and time section and here i have a function with the name date value i click on this insert selected function i select this function now i replace this expression with the field name that i want to convert to a date time to a date 
I click on this insert field. I scroll down and uh, here we will have a date value with the created date and you can see that it is the type of a date time. So I click on insert. It insert it in a function create date and it converts that created date date time value to a date only. So now to check whether this uh, formula is correct or not, I click on this check, check syntax button. It shows me that the formula is correct. There is no syntax error. If you want to add description help text, you can add it. Even you can handle the blank field if you want. After that, you have to click on the next button to move to the next step. And in this step, you have to set up the field level security. It gives you the access to all the profiles to edit this field. So I want to give this access to all profile. I click on this visible checkbox and click on the next button. Now we are on the last step, which is a step five to add a page layout. You can see that it shows you multiple pages uh, of an account and it shows you the checkbox with the name field in front of that. Now you have to check the page layouts in which you want to add this field. So I remain this step as it is and click on the save. If you want to change, you can change it according to your need. And now it's successfully saved. So let's check whether it's work or not. So I click on this account object first. And here I click on any random account. I show you how it's work. You can see that it redirect to the account detail. And here you can see that it create date is a 5 17 2023. And here you can see that it's it fetch this detail from the created by which is 5 17 2023 9 24 am so with this we have successfully learned how to convert the date time value to a date in salesforce classic also so if this video was helpful click on the like button and also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one thanking you for watching and have a great day